Common Settlement Ministers Conference during the 13th to 16th December 2006. In the same venue, and the historic decision was taken to establish the Asia Pacific Ministerial Conference as an intergovernment institutional mechanism for collaboration and cooperation in the field of housing and urban development among the Asia Pacific countries. Exactly 10 years back, we assembled here and we took the decision to form this organization. This is uh, after a decade, again we are meeting at the same place. This APM should, since its beginning in 2006 in New Delhi, has been indeed progress as an effective collaborative mechanism in the field of housing and urban development. The collective vision we had evolved through Delhi Declaration 2006, Tehran Declaration 2008, Seoul Declaration in 2010, Amman Declaration in 2012, and Seoul Declaration in 2014 have all guided us, the Asia Pacific countries, for sharing our concerns, sharing our experiences, and addressing them through exchange of information and experience in the field of housing and urban development. It was a very meaningful exercise that we all have undertaken during these years. As the threshold of a decade of its efforts, the collective engagement of the members' countries have enabled it to maintain its vibrant character all through. India is indeed grateful to APM Chut for agreeing to the proposal of India to host this sixth APM Chut conference in New Delhi this year. I am thankful to all the member countries. I am particularly happy on the fact that its pursuit towards a sustainable housing and urban development in the Asia Pacific region. This APM Chud has five specific focus areas, and these working groups are led voluntarily by the member countries, which signifies its importance and collective and collaborative efforts. This event also assumes very special significance in view of the being the first major international event in the field of housing and urban development after adopting the new urban agenda at Quito for the substantial cities and human settlements for all. Because housing is a key component of the human civilization. You cannot call anything as civilization unless there is a housing component, shelter for all. That is the basic requirement for any civilization. In the present world order, there is an increased interdependence between global goals and local actions. Given the need for stimulating global economic growth rate and the role of urban areas as the key engines of economic development, this interactive forum of APM Chod offers significant scope for such corrective efforts and actions to promote inclusive and sustainable urban development. This forum has immense potential for leveraging collaboration through knowledge sharing of experiences and best practices being followed in our respective countries. Asia Pacific region, as was said by my secretary, accounts for 60% of the world population and 55% of the global urban population. Ten of the world's largest cities are located in this region, including the top three, Tokyo, New Delhi and Shanghai. More than 1 billion are living in slums in this region. That's an important thing to be noted. Slums are physical and spatial manifestation of urban poverty and intra-city inequalities and are a matter of serious concern for all of us. Over the next two years, this region is set to be transformed into a predominantly urban and most of the increase in urban population coming from this region. We are all aware people are migrating to urban areas for the sake of uh, education, employment, entertainment, economic activity and enhanced medical facilities. These are the five E's that are driving people from the rural areas to urban areas. Now urbanization has become irreversible. Whether you like it or not, it is going to catch further tempo in the coming days. So keeping that in mind, we have to plan our programs to take care of this population. The friends, uh, the, we have also seen highest number of uh, disasters recorded in the recent years. This underlines the need for ensuring disaster resilience. This is one of the important aspects we have to focus ourselves. So at this critical stage of demographic transformation, APM should will 
have to play a more proactive role in synergizing our efforts for making urban settlements more livable, inclusive and sustainable. We need to ensure that no one is left behind in accessing and benefiting from the fruits of urban development. Everybody should must have a sense of feeling that also he has a stake in that development and he is also able to get the fruits of development. Governance holds the key to making cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable. Over the last two years, the Government of India has been particularly focusing on improving urban governance through various initiatives under various new urban missions. These include promotion of e-governance for ensuring transparency and accountability, besides online service delivery, capacity building through augmentation of technical, planning and managerial skills, increasing resource base of city government, etc. We have introduced a new lexicon in urban governance in India, fostering competition among cities, ranking of cities, making them creditworthy, comprehensive planning based on the detailed assessment of basic infrastructure gaps in the city-wise, having resulted in a new consciousness of thinking and acting differently, replacing the earlier business-as-usual approach. A new urban renaissance is taking place in India. The urban local bodies, now they are made to, are aware of the fact that they have to act locally, watch globally, and then catch up the momentum. Because at the end of the day, in India, we have a three-tier government, central government, state government, and then local bodies. That is the case. Development Minister speaking at a function, a housing development, urban housing uh, function, uh, which is currently underway in uh, Vigyan uh, Bhavan. Uh